Okay. Wait, do you think? Wait, do you think? Opposite beam. Found it. Okay. Found it. All right. So, um, PowerPoint will be going as you guys want today. Um, so if you need to see that, I also have the formulas written over there by Reese. Uh, but um, I'll leave the PowerPoint going in case you know the front row is really hard to see that. So PowerPoint should be easier. Um, I'll go through the instructions one more time. So this PowerPoint will go away here in a second. We'll go through the instructions one more time. And then we'll uh, we'll get started, and then I'll put this back up. Um, any questions um, about um, about what we need to get uh, what we need to get turned in, what we need to get done today? Probably it's got to be semester test. And if you haven't got that turned in, you need to talk to me about it. Okay. All right. Oh. 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 I think my desk is Um, when we get rid of the PowerPoint here, we'll go through the instructions here one more time. Hopefully you have your uh, practice guides turned in, all that good stuff. Okay, let's go through the instructions. Now I'm going to make this pretty quick when we go through these instructions to so just kind of pay attention here. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Let's go through the instructions. If uh, you're just starting now for those two, make sure you put your name on it. Okay, number one, it's uh, law of exponents. Make sure you simplify it. Uh, go as far as you can. If there's any more simplifying to be done after you know, you've turned it in, I will count those parts wrong, whatever you have left. Okay, number two, you have to um, simplify the radicals. I will have the cube and square list if you need it, but remember, you do have to attempt to add those after you simplify it. That's your little hint on uh, number two. Uh, number three, uh, I give you the graph. You have to answer the series of questions about the graph. I think the graph actually looks really good. So um, it should be easy to kind of see how to answer those questions for that graph. Remember, use correct notation on some of those if you're using a certain specific type. Four, you have to find the area for that shaded object, the shaded part, find the area. You should know how to do that. It should be somewhat, uh, somewhat easy to figure out. Um, five, factor completely. You have to use all the types of factoring, if possible. Um, you have to go as far as you can on that problem. If there's any more factoring to be done, I will count that wrong, so keep that in mind. Six, you have to use the function I provided you and plug it into that differential quotient. Uh, the difference quotient is printed on your test, so you can actually see the formula to plug it into and modify and simplify that. Um, seven, you need to write your equation down in point slope form first and then work your way down to standard. Standard, keep that in mind. Okay, so make sure you're doing that. The forms are on the board, plus they'll be on the PowerPoint. That's going right beside the go to Dalton over here. Okay, eight, you have to do four different answers. Add, subtract, multiply, and divide those functions, and then tell me the domain of each one. Be careful of one of them. Number nine, I have provided you three functions. You have to do that composite one that's written right next to number nine. It should be a number. It should be a digit. If you're coming up with variables, you're doing it wrong. It should, it should be a number. Ten. 
Um, you have to divide those. You can use any form of division you want. I probably recommend the one that's printed. I'm just saying, it's probably the easier one. Okay? Uh, but you do have to state your answer in the final end with variables and all that stuff plugged back in. Um, 11, you have to find the possible rational roots, check which ones work, list them, list them very specifically, or circle them or box them which ones are the ones that work. So be careful of that. Um, 12, you have to graph the hyperbola. Uh, make sure you're doing the foci and the asymptotes and all that good stuff, uh, and where the, you know, the center and the branches start and all that stuff. And then the last one is a parabola. Make sure on the parabola that you are putting it in the right spot, make sure it's in the right direction, that you have vertex focus and director all there. So that's the things I'm looking for. Okay, there's your whole entire test. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask. I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to answer it. Um, I just want to make sure that um, you have the rest of the time of the day to work. Uh, for those two that just started, I would like you to attempt at some point, if you have a study hall today, to come in here and try to wrap it up. Because I'm not expecting any more data for you guys this week. That's fine. You're telling us, Mr. Ward, are you school. predicting a snow day? Two, two, snow snow day. two snow days. Two snow days. Two snow days. Oh, two. That was not a. That was a statement. Two snow days, but I've never done one. I didn't. I didn't say two. You I said two. don't. You're not going to shake your head and say two. Oh, no, I didn't. You didn't say. Two snow days. 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 Two snow days.